What I asked you though, KB, is what was your intention? Were you here to find love or were you here to see if you could run a hat trick? Oh, hit three? <laughs> or four. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm I mean, asking I you, player to player, I'm asking you. <laughs> Look, I wasn't here to hit three because I knew that wasn't this type of show. Now, if it was a different KB, show, answer, maybe. answer my question. What was your but intention? My intention was to possibly find love, but at the same time was to get to know someone and see if I can find that connection. When you see someone off bat, it's physical off the top. When you see yeah, someone, that's what it is. You, either you like how they look or you don't. I got it. So that's what it was. She liked how I looked. I liked how she looked. We was grown. We was vibing. We was drinking. We was hanging out. F happens. We f It is what it is. I didn't come on the show to, like, to run a hat trick. Now, real life, I run a hat trick all the time. But here, I, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, that, I wasn't coming on for that. You I was trying to me. find a different direction. You know what I mean? To see what was up. Mm -hmm. To find love, possibly. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? I found a great person. She's awesome. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? She need a real <laughs> to be able to control that. Yeah, it looked like that was in good control when you were telling her to get the <laughs> out of here. Well, again, she kind of loose at the mouth. Yeah, but you know what I mean? KB. But so I was I was wrong in that sense, and we've talked you since then. You apologize for I it. I apologize for it. You know, I was wrong with how I came at her at that point in time. <laughs> I mean, but we've had me and Ashley G have multiple conversations about her mouth. You know what I mean? And she knows that. I don't hey, know. Hold on, Mark. Yeah. No, right. I'm sorry. No, no. No, no I don't know. Ahead. Like, maybe he takes that. Maybe Rick takes that. I don't take disrespect from nobody at any time, anywhere, any place. So oh, maybe, I don't take she, it maybe he allows her to talk to him that way. I don't. But ho hold on I a don't. second. Hold on. I need to say Four something. Here. I need to say something here, man to man, that has nothing to do with Ashley. You're it has to do with shoes. how we as men know. communicate with women. I'm just going to say this, and with, with nothing but respect, but you're big enough man for me to talk to you of straight. Of course. Right? I don't think there's ever a time, no matter how they come at you, that we as men need to be talking to women in the way that you did in that moment. Now, you did restrain speaking yourself of physically. That, speaking of that, like you didn't I do to... anything that was dangerous, but we, unfortunately, we have a responsibility to keep it civil, even if the woman gets crazy. So that's my only thing. I, I'm just checking you on that. Of course, now, of course. And that's why, as a man that I am, I apologize. But to women, you've got a responsibility too. So, Ashley, you flew off too. Look, it's an emotional thing. And you guys are having a hard time. I'm just saying, for me, that was an uncomfortable moment. And as adults, we have to at least respect people's space and their words mm -hmm. enough to kind of handle a little bit better than that, right? You're a classy, big, strong man. And especially being the size that you are, you have even more of a responsibility. But I, I could yell like that, nobody takes me seriously. <laughs> you know, I'm going to puff up and people are going to laugh at me. You puff up, it's scary, right? Facts. We're big done facts. with this. All right, so. Scare me. We cool with that? Absolutely. All right.